Good morning, everyone. This is Ms. Sarah, Youth Services Librarian here at Rehoboth Beach Public Library. And we are honored today to have Del Rehoboth local Dr. Iona Holland with us to read her book, Buddy Bison. So I'm gonna let Iona get started here. Uh, just as a reminder, Buddy Bison is up as a story walk here in front of Rehoboth Beach Public Library. And if you read the book, you can come in and do a scavenger hunt for your own Buddy Bison that you get to keep. So come on into Rehoboth Library. And if you're in the area sometime soon, and you can take home your own little Buddy Bison. So, Iona, thank you for joining us, and why don't you read this wonderful story to us and teach us a little bit about bison as well. I'd love to. Good morning, everybody. It's great to be here, and I brought a friend. Oh, buddy, buddy's with me. Hey, Buddy. Good morning. I know you always love talking to the kids. He loves kids. And there are buddy bisons, as you heard, right in the library waiting for you if you do a scavenger hunt and watch and go and read the book and the story walk. So I hope you will. But I, before we start, I'm going to tell you a little bit about bisons so that you <clears throat> know more about it when we read the book and the book will mean more to you. What you see on the screen is all about me. <laughs> you can see that I read buddy bisons. Yellowstone adventure to kids all the time. And here I am in a school. I've been on television talking about Buddy Bison and here are more kids with Buddy Bison. And I've written two other books. One is called The Lost Locket of Lewis and the other one is called The Great Explosion. So I've written three books all together. But today we're going to talk about Bison and Buddy Bison's Yellowstone adventure. Here it is. This is the book that I wrote. I am the author. Being an author means you've written something. You are the writer. So this is the book that I wrote. And I'd like us to look at this cover for a second. It takes place in a place called Yellowstone. Does anyone know what Yellowstone is? I know you know. Buddy knows it's a park. As a matter of fact, it is the oldest national park, not only in the United States, but in the whole world. It was founded in 1872. So that is a really, really old national park. Can you see other things here? Do you have to see here? is Elena. She is one of the characters in the book. And her twin brother is Christopher, and he loves taking pictures. So the Elena and Christopher are the characters in the book. And then here's Buddy right there. And you can see him, and he is a bison. And this is Grand Prismatic Spring, and we'll be talking about that and what that is. So let's learn a little bit about bison. This is a very good book um, to, to learn about bison. But what I really like about it are its wonderful photographs of bison. So I would like you, it was written by Sherry Winner and it's called Our Wild World Series Bison. What letter does the word bison start with? Can you find the word? Bison, bison. It starts right here is the word, and this is the letter. You're right, buddy. It's the letter B. Buddy knows that very well because his first name, Buddy, starts with B also. He's Buddy Bison. He has two Bs in his name. I wonder how many of you have a name that starts with B. That there's a Brian. There might be a Betsy. There could be a Barbara. I don't know what your name might be, but it might start with a B and you know if it does. Or maybe you know someone else whose name starts with a B. 
what do you notice about these bison? Hmm, how many legs do they have? Let's count them. One leg, because there are two bison here, so we'll only look at this one. One leg, two legs, so I have two hind legs. One leg, two legs, two four front legs. So they have four legs all together. What other animals have four legs? Hmm, think. I bet you can think of one. A cat, right. How about a dog? A horse? Lots of animals have four legs. Do people? Not me, not you. No, people don't. Have you ever seen a bison in real life? Well, you know what? There's one that lives not too far from here, from Delaware, lives in Maryland. At, in the zoo at Salisbury, there is a bison. So if you ever want to see one in real life, you can go there. Now, bison love to travel and be together in big, big groups. Huh, wonder what the name of a big group of bison is called. I know that a lot of birds are called, a big group of birds are called a flock. Hmm. I know that a big group of cows called a herd. Well, bison and cows are cousins. Ah, who would have known? But, and they go together in big groups in a herd. So that is exactly what this is. And herds of bison can be huge, like 2,000 at a time, which is amazing. Now they what do you think a bison likes to eat? Take a look at this picture. These bison are all eat, walking and eating and or eating. What do they like to eat? Look hard at the picture. Grass, exactly. They like to eat grass. And they are, it's so amazing that they don't eat the wildflowers. So wherever bison go, Wildflowers can grow because they don't eat them. They only eat the grass in between. So they skip right through the, the beautiful pasture and the flowers can all keep growing. Here's a close-up of a bison eating grass. He's got a mouthful of grass. One thing that I love about this picture is that you can see his face much more clearly. So we know that bison have four legs. Now let's look at his face a little more and see what else we can figure out about a bison. Bison have horns. Do you see them? On each side, they have horns. They have lots of thick fur. They have a rather big nose. Their nose is so good that they can smell an animal almost two miles away. That's a good nose. And it's pretty big on their face. Something, however, on their face is not very big. It's quite small, really, as big as this animal is. What could that be? The mouth isn't too big, that's true, but that's not what I'm thinking about. It's big enough. But something else is pretty small on this face. Look hard. I see it. It's the eye. Do you see this eye right here? I've got an arrow going round and round. Do you see the eye? It's pretty small and bison can't see very well. They can hear well and they can smell things from far away. So they rely on their hearing and their smell more than on their eyes. Now humans are a little different, aren't we? We rely a lot on our eyes. I told you that bison and cows were cousins. Well, it's part in one way that they are very much the same is in their feet. Now these are cow's hoofs right here. And these, this is a buffalo hoof. And they're very similar. You can see that they are made of two parts and it's called a cloven hoof. Your feet aren't made of two parts, are there? How many toes do you have? 
You can take your socks off and count if you don't know. I know how many I have. I have five. And I have five fingers too. But I, we're talking about feet right now. So they don't have toes, do they? Cows and bison have hoofs instead. And they look very much the same. And these are what a bison's tracks sort of look like. Now I wonder how tall is a bison? Hmm, take a look at this picture. Let's see, they're kind of the shadows of a bison man, a man there. So which is taller? Hmm, take a good look. Let's see, if you look at the bison's head, it droops down a little bit. So it's not as tall as the man, is it? But if you look at his big hump, he's got a big hump in the back, then that is a little bit taller or as tall as a man. A bison, you, many bison are about six feet tall. Now, some men are taller than that. Some women are taller than that. Children are not usually taller than that. But so a bison is about the size of a tall, you know, of a tall woman or a man, but he's not as tall as a basketball player, not quite. So it gives you an idea of how tall a bison is. There, now you can really see how tall a bison is. And you can see what I'm talking about. See his head? It's down further, and he has this big hump. Wow, a very big hump. So his hump is taller than the car. And do you know what? He weighs as much as a cow, as, as a car too. Hey, a male bison can weigh as much as 2,000 pounds. I mean, that's a lot. That's a ton, that's two tons. That's a lot of weight. Can never ever lift a bison. I can never lift a bison. That is really, really big. So he's big. We know he's really big, and usually big things can't run very fast. Hmm. Buddy, do you know how fast you can run? Really? Do you think the children can run that fast? He doesn't think you can run as fast as he can because. Bison can run up to 35 miles an hour. That's really fast. That's faster than the cars are allowed to go down Main Street. They're only allowed to go 25 miles an hour in most Main Streets. So it's faster than that. So that's really, really fast. Most people can't even ride their bicycle that fast. Some people can, but most people can't. That is really, really, really fast. And you can see if you have 2,000 buffalo running 35 miles an hour, that'd be kind of scary. So you never ever try to go close to wildlife. Not a buffalo, a bison, and another word for bison is buffalo. Not a bison, not even squirrels in your yard. You shouldn't try to get close to any wildlife. You can watch from a distance, that's fine. Don't get close because wild, wildlife is wild and they could do anything unpredictable. So that's one of the rules about wildlife. Well, we said that a male, big male bison was 2,000 pounds. What about a baby? Hmm. Can you lift a baby bison? Ha, huh. could I lift a baby bison? Looks pretty sweet right there. There's a little baby right there. I'm circling it with my arrow. There's another baby sitting with their mommy. Hmm, look at those big horns they have. The bison have and the big nose. You can really see the big nose there. See it right there? But look at that baby. Do you think you could pick it up? Hmm. Well, guess what? A baby weighs. Hmm. A human baby weighs eight pounds, about. They can be smaller, they can be bigger, but let's pick eight pounds. And I don't know how much you weigh, but maybe you weigh 25 pounds now. Maybe you weigh 35 pounds. I'm not sure. 
but I know how much I weigh. And when a baby bison is one year old, just one, it weighs 350 pounds. That's way more than I weigh. And I can never lift a baby bison when he was already one year old. Never, ever, ever. 350 pounds, he's too heavy. Could never do it. So, bison live in a place in Yellowstone that can get 50 feet of snow. Can you imagine that? Over the course of a whole winter, not at one time. But lots of times, the snow can be six, seven feet deep, really deep. So, how does a bison stay warm in weather like that? How can he manage in all that snow? I'll tell you, he has a lot of fat, a whole inch of fat that keeps him really warm. On top of that, he's got very thick skin. Our skin's not too thick. His is really thick. Then on top of that, he's got fur, lots of fur. Thick fur, not thin fur, lots of fur. But that's not even the end of it. He's got one more thing, something we all have, keeps our heads warm. He's got hair, hair on top of fur. So he's got fat, he's got thick, thick skin. He's got a thick, thick coat of fur and he's got hair on top of that to keep him warm. And he can stand degree, many, many degrees below zero, like 60, he can get, he can stand it to be that cold. What do we do when it's cold outside? I hear it's going to snow soon. What are we going to do? We too put on layers, right? What do you layer on when you go out on a cold, cold day? Hmm. You probably have some sort of shirt on, so that's a good layer. You have skin, of course, which is your basic layer, but then you put on shirt. After the shirt, maybe you put on a sweater. Hmm. After the sweater, what do you put on? A coat, right, you put on a coat. But sometimes it was really, really cold. You put on more than that, don't you? What else can you put on? A scarf. Good thinking. A hat, good thinking. And gloves. So we do have layers too, but we don't have them on by nature. We have to put them on. So the bison's lucky in that way. He doesn't have to worry. He's got all the layers already on. Now look at that big hump. How can that help him in this cold, cold winter? Remember it? You can see it there really, really well, that big hump. Well, part of what that hump does is, see, it runs right down to his legs. It's not full of fat. It is muscle. So it's not like, oh, there's another animal that has a hump. What is it? Hmm. Oh, what is that animal that has a hump? You know, it's brown and it has a big hump. Sometimes it has two humps. Hmm, what's that animal? Right, 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 it's a camel. Camels have humps, but the camel's hump's different. The ham camel's hump has fat in it. This hump is muscle, and the muscle helps the bison run really fast. Huh, does anybody remember how fast a bison can run? Did I tell you? I think I did. Runs faster than a car on Main Street, right? How fast was that? I remember 35 miles an hour. That's how fast it is. And that's how fast he went. He can run. Well, he needs huge muscles to run that fast when he weighs two tons, just like a car needs a lot of horsepower. Well, and in the engine, a lot of power. Well, this is the power for the bison muscle power for his legs huh. but i told you that the hump helps him in the cold well that's nice that he can run real fast he can run 35 miles an hour and the hump helps with that but 
but the hump to something else. Those muscles don't just attach to the legs, they attach to his big, huge head. That head is enormous and it weighs a lot. And you know what he does with it in the snow? He uses it like a snow shovel and he moves his head from right to left and left to right and back and forth and clears a path through the snow. Look how tall that snow is. And he has to clear a path and he uses his head to do it. It's a giant snow shovel in the winter time. And he can make a path and, and the leader makes a path and the others all follow and he can make a path through the snow. And that is because of his big head and that big hump. And he can use it like a snow shovel, which really helps him in the winter time. So where is he going though in the snow? Well, he wants to go where it's warm. There are things called hot springs. And how can that be? Look at this. There's lots of snow around on all the trees, but there's not very much snow around this water. So why is that? It's because the water's hot. How can something that looks like that, it looks like a big lake or a spring? What is a spring? That means water's coming from below. It's coming from the earth. How can it possibly be, or why would it be warm and hot? Well, I'll tell you. It's warm by a volcano underground. Yellowstone is all on top of a very old volcano and it makes the water hot. And the, it has what's called thermal, hydrothermal areas. Hydro means water, like a hydrant on the street. Hydro, water, it has to do with water. And thermal has to do with heat. So, you know, you have long underwear. Sometimes that's called thermal underwear. Thermometer that you put in your mouth, that has to do with trying to find out how hot you are. So thermo has to do with hot and heat and hydro has to do with water. So this is a hydrothermal area. And they, they bison have figured out they can go there and get warm and get away from all of that snow. And that's where they go. And I want you to notice the steam that comes up. There's lots and lots of steam. And in our story, Christopher's gonna think that steam is fire, but it's not fire, it's just steam. And you know that if you boil water on the stove, there's lots of steam that comes up. Well, if you have any questions, be sure to write them down or tell them to an adult near you so that you'll remember them and you can look up the answers or you can go to the library and check out books like yellow there are books on yellowstone there are books on bison and you can get a lot more of your questions answered but you know what right now it's time to stand up oh, yeah i want you to stand up and i want you to pretend to be a bison Oh my gosh, but not just any bison. I want you to be a bison in the snow. Oh, think of snow up to here. Lots and lots and lots of snow. Hmm. Now I want you to make your head seem much bigger than it is. Put your arms like this and pretend your head is a lot bigger and put your arms up by your ears and drop your head down so that you can have a really big head. Next, swing that head from one side to the other and start being a snowplow and walk through the whole room all the way around. I'm watching, walk, 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 like a bison, boom, 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 and make a snowplow for yourself. And I want, and if somebody's with you, have them be behind you, just like we saw those bison in, in one of the pictures where you make a line and you go through your entire room. So I'm going to wait while you all be bison. Go ahead, stand up and make your head really big, really big. Use those muscles around your shoulders and hold up your head and make a path.
go ahead. <gasps> wow, I'm watching. Oh, I see you doing it. Oh my gosh, I can just imagine. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at all those bison out there. Wow, going around the room, clearing the path. Oh, some of you aren't getting up yet. Come on, get up. It's time to be a bison. Join Betty and clear a path. There you go. I see one or more, two more. Go on, you can do it. Okay, come on back. Have a seat. That was fun. Come on back. Everybody have a seat. Okay. Now, I have a few things to tell you before we read the story. One more thing, actually. So I'll get settled. I'll wait. Okay. So, in the story, I told you there are two twins, Elena and Christopher. Christopher has a nickel. This is an old nickel, and you could look for one because we have them around. And on one side of the nickel, you can see a face, and that is the face of a Native American. On the other side of the nickel is a buffalo or a bison. And you see the big hump? You see his heavy head? You see his four legs? He has a tail too, we didn't even talk about the tail. And Christopher tosses this nickel, it's his very favorite lucky nickel, into the air and he says it lands bison side up. And that means this bison is showing. So I wanted you to know that when, you, when we read that part of the book. 